Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we look at the top five best buyable vehicles in Mad City. So before we get into it, make sure to smash that subscribe button as it really does help the channel out. And also leave a like as it also helps the channel out. And join my Discord because why wouldn't you? You can chat with me uh, and I'm the most active person on there. So I don't see why you wouldn't join. It doesn't make much sense. But yeah, uh, let's... Jump right into it. Alright, so in the number fifth place, we have the Fury. So this is a $3 million car, spawns over there in that little place there, town thing, and it's based on the McLaren 720S. So, actually, no, I lied, not the 720S, yes, just the normal 720. So, it's a very good car. Um, it is the second fastest car in the game, next to the Nero, which just has better acceleration, and I apparently can't drive today. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really good car, there's not much to say about it. It has two seats, pretty self-explanatory, it's just your basic car, pretty fast, has awesome looks, and... Yeah. Alrighty, next is the competitor, which is the Nero. So this is based on the Bugatti Divo, and it is faster than the Fury, has the same top speed, but better acceleration, and it's, it's a really, really good car. By the way, I always get asked what skin I have, so I have the Cotton Candy skin, which I believe was like 400k or 200k, something on those lines from last season. But yeah, so that's the skin that I have, so stop asking, thank you. Um, and so, it's the same as the uh, Fury, but looks different and is faster, and it's 3.5 million and spawns in the same place as the Fury. So, that's the Nero. Alright, so next is the Halo. So if you don't know where this is, or what it is, then you've basically been living under a rock, but this is the new hoverboard so it has extremely good acceleration extremely good handling and also it's super fun as as you can see uh you could also see in my intro every intro i just go around the desert and just vibe with it but it has super good acceleration super good for going around the city unfortunately it doesn't have nitro so that is something to keep in mind however if i were to go around the city it's just super Super good because you can turn corners so quickly and as I said before I cannot drive today but uh, you you get you get the idea it's just it's it's just super good at going around the city and I would yeah well it's better than most cars in my opinion so so you know super fun as well it, it just has unlimited perks that's a lie, don't quote me on that, please. Uh, but yeah, so this is 3 million and spawns over in the pyramid right there is where it spawns. And you go in from the top, by the way. Alright, so in the number 2 spot, we actually have the Knight Rider. So the Knight Rider is an extremely good vehicle and it actually also has a turret, which is just insanely OP and wow. Uh, so. It's really fast, it's like, has really good acceleration, however, not the best top speed in the world, however, it still does have a pretty reasonable top speed, uh, which is super duper good and satisfying to use, but what we're going to do is, I actually have my ult over here, and we are going to test the turret just so I can show you how overpowered it is. So the thing that's really good with the turret is less people, but if I were to show that, then... Did, and they can't shoot me on the car. But the biggest thing is that when you're chasing after people, or people are trying to get away in a car, or something along those lines, then... The... I come... Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Wait, give me three seconds. Alrighty, we're good. So, as I was saying before, so if someone's running away from you, literally all you have to do is is, is that, and, and then they can't run away from you, and then that's when you eliminate the actual person. 
Then again, you could also just get out of your vehicle and, and eliminate the person, but like the fact that you can drive after them, and this is like as fast, slight, well, no, slightly slower than the Roadster. So the average person that you're going after is not going to have it. Then, I mean, what can I say about it? Apart from the fact that that's like really, really good. So yeah, this is like super helpful for even just like being a criminal. Like when I, uh, like a few days ago, I did a 6v1. Uh, I actually didn't win it, but I killed five of them, and they were all like relatively high people, like um, high level people, so they clearly know how to play the game. But so basically, I got onto the Night Rider and like drove round and started uh, eliminating each person one by one and shooting from the air, and because they couldn't actually like shoot me and then when my vehicle was low I went over here got out this was by bank by the way I went over here got out and changed my vehicle so my vehicle so it regained health obviously still a night rider and then and then continue shooting them and I got extremely close to winning uh, so if you use it correctly you could actually use it insanely even if you're a criminal player which I am a criminal player and this is probably my third or fourth most used vehicle in front being the Fury Halo and maybe one of the boats and my game just died but we'll be back for number one okay so my private server actually died I can click have reward as well. Also, people like, have got up to uh, level 35, so like, lucky them. I'm jealous. However, I did find out that it's Mercedes 6x6. But that brings us on to the next vehicle, which is the Hyperglider. So the Hyperglider, hold on, just, just watch this. Say I'm playing as a hero, and for some reason it looks like I have my graphics on low. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, and I want to go to the gun store, right? Oh wait, hold on, the game hasn't actually loaded on. Oh, uh, well, you you, 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 you get the point. I sort of joined like three seconds ago, so the game didn't actually load in. Oh, cool, that's another hero, what's up? Ah, but, so, yeah, so, I actually regret, I have to use it more for grinding, because, like, the more I think about it, like, I've, I've actually, wait, hold on, jewelry store is a bad thing, because you never actually exit from the jewelry store, hold on. Uh, let me think of something to do. We'll, we'll do the casino. So we'll go over to the casino and then I'll show you how quick it goes back. If I could just do that. No, I didn't want to use the nitro. I'm such an idiot. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay. Right. Oh, holy cow. The handling is insane. I never dropped this thing on the ground. So, you just got out of casino. And then you spawn the hype glider. And there's probably a significantly better route, but you're, you're, you're there. Like, if you tell me that that isn't good, then I genuinely think that you are insane. So the Hype Glider is absolutely overpowered. I don't actually have the Prestige 5 commutator, so I can't say for that. However, uh, this is a viable vehicles video. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Do hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Give me uh, a second for a quick record. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one.